welcome back to another project pan type project. Um, I'm doing a pan those eyeshadows this year, although the way I'm going about it, I am not intending on keeping them in long enough to actually hit pan because I feel like I'll get bored doing it that way. I am way too ADD for that shit, but I'm going for usage goals because for each of these, each installment that I do on this project, I'm going to roll in six colors chosen by a random number generator and I'm going to have a goal of using each one ten times. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that adds up pretty quick and for that I don't know how often I'll do these updates. It might be every month, it might be every other month. We'll see how it goes because I don't wear it every day, but we'll see how it goes. And I don't want to be locked into only wearing these colors. I still want to be able to have the freedom to wear other colors. Otherwise, yeah, th this will be dead in the water day one. Um, so I figure that's a fair amount to get like some decent use on them and then roll out for another six colors. And basically it's just to make sure more shades in my collection see some love rather than just kind of gravitating to the same ones over and over and over. It's more just to get more use on them. Now, ultimately, over time, it'd be great to hit actual pan on them, but that's not the way that I'm doing this. Of I know a lot of people do these and they keep them in until they hit pan. I'm not that patient. I'm not that person. Maybe eventually, maybe this is my baby steps towards being able to do that type of thing, but we ain't there yet. <laughs> we are nowhere near there yet. So I have my phone with me and we're going to just roll six random numbers. Okay. Well, it just, ra <laughs> I opened it and it rolled one already. So our first number is 70, 122, 72, 131, 86. I think we are having an issue here. You know what? Let's start this over. I think we have a problem. Okay, now let's try it. Clear history. Okay, randomize. The hell? Did I do this wrong? Okay, so 40 <laughs> is taking entirely too long to roll each number. 147. Seventy-three. Maybe I should cut down the roll time. No, I think that's okay, actually. It's very slow. One thirty-six. Forty-five. Is that one, two, three, four, five? Okay, we need one more. And 25. So, 40, 147, 73, 136, 45, and 25. Now, I'm gonna go look at my chart of where I wrote down every freaking eyeshadow color that I have that is currently open anyway. I didn't chart the ones that aren't open yet. As they're opened, they will be added to it. But I will see what these numbers correlate with, and we will be right back, and I will show you. Okay, so I went down and I wrote down uh, what all is what and made my little charts for usage counts and I am not mad at the ones that it chose. Honestly, these go together. So the first color is from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette and it's uh, Khaki Shimmer, which is the second to last shade in here. Let me cover the mirror. It's uh, one in the middle here. So I'm going to swatch it and show you guys. Like, like it's really pretty. That's pretty versatile for, honestly, a lot of outfits that that could go with. So that was the first color that was rolled. The second one is from the BH uh, Cosmetics Naughty Palette. There's actually two shades that got rolled from that one. The first one is in the color Coal, which, honestly, this could work with basically any of the shades rolled. It is like this one in the middle. Take a guess. Take a guess which one's coal. 
initially I was like, oh no, when I saw that I rolled that, but then I was like, wait, no, that's like a perfect shader for freaking everything just about. So like, honestly, like, yeah, it's dark, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Blending is a thing, guys. Tis a thing. We don't have to go hella heavy handed with it. We can make it work. So then we have the color Crushing from the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. And honestly, I'm stoked I got that one because it's one of my favorite shades in this palette. Honestly, if I were going to guess a palette that would hit pan first, it's probably this one, especially in those like purpley shades. Like we have got some deep dips in there. Um, this, this palette has seen some shit. It's also pretty old. I don't care. I still love it. I still use it. Still good. So, Crushing is this beautiful orange shade that I feel like also goes with everything here so far. Like, honestly, these are very fall vibes and I am living for it since, you know, I love me my fall colors. Doesn't matter that it's January. Fuck it. Fall all year round. Yeah. So we have that. Yeah, it's patchy, but I mean, I can work with this one. I, I know how this one works. I know how to make it work for me. Trust me. Um, the next one is Meringue, and that's the other one from the Naughty Palette. And this is like so light that I'm a little disappointed I got this one because it doesn't really show up on me, but I can also use that to like tone down anything else if need be. So like, it really just kind of blends into my skin, if I'm being honest. But I'm a good sport. We will use it. I will find ways. Even if I just use it as like a gentle, subtle highlight up here, I will find a way to use it. And that is the point of this. Colors that I otherwise overlook because I just generally don't have much use for them, it will force me to use them. So we have that. Then, from the Elf Chipotle palette, who already forgot about this thing, right? We have Hot Salsa, which, let's get the name card out of here. We'll just bend the mirror back. Hot Salsa is this fun guy right here, and honestly, I feel like that could play nice even with like the orange. It's like a crease shade, except that it has glitter in it. So I don't know, we'll play with it. I mean, that is kind of the point here. It's like a reddish orange. So, I mean, you could see like those two could easily go together. And so far everything here pretty much can work together. Like, bro, <laughs> that's why I'm like, you have no idea how relieved I am that I rolled the colors I did, holy shit. And then the final one was a single. Where did it go? There it is. It's a Nomad Cosmetics one, and it's the Gallows Lava, which is oh, stuck me. Another green that is very similar to the first one, but it's lighter, so it can play nice with that guy. So like, well, at least I think it's lighter. Maybe it's darker. I don't freaking know. Oh, it's darker. I take it back. They're similar, guys. They're similar. But I think I could wear them together and, like, do a multi-dimensional look, like, honestly. Or I could wear them separate. It don't matter. We have two very similar shades here, but they are different. This one's more glittery. I like that one better, actually. But, like, bro. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it that this is the palette we're playing with for this first installment. Like, frankly... I'm already thinking of some looks. I'm already thinking of some. So since we need to hit 10 uses on each color, nobody said they had to be one at a time. They just have to be used 10 times each. So honestly, that is not that hard to do. And that's why I say, you know, it's possible we might do an update for this every month. I don't know. I can't promise it, but it's possible. They might not even be evenly spaced. Maybe sometimes it'll be each month. Maybe sometimes it'll be every two. I don't know. It just depends how it goes down. But given the colors I got this time around, I think this is going to be quite easy for me to do. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.